Hello and welcome back to What I Wish I'd Known When I First Started Self-Publishing. I am Carly with Dragon Key Press, and today we're talking about the next part of the basic publishing cycle, which is formatting. Outside of the writing and editing, formatting is probably the most important part of the production aspect of creating a book. If your book is not properly formatted, your printer will most likely not print it. And as a self-published author, chances are good you will be using a print-on-demand service. And those can be super picky about formatting, especially when it comes to margins and pagination, also known as page numbering. You may recall my going over some of the terms you might hear when it comes to formatting, lead, margins, typeface, etc. Well, I might give you a bit more of a description when we get to those, but as always, it's best to review. For all intents and purposes, at least for this stage of the cycle, formatting is the part where you put the book together in a format where it can be published. This can be electronically or in a physical book. Sometimes you can use the same master document for both purposes, depending on the type of book. Picture books can get a bit dicey there, depending on how you've laid everything out, because sometimes you have pictures that span two pages instead of just one. And when you start to deal with bleed, it gets even more entertaining. But since we're going over the basics in this episode, I don't want to overwhelm you with too many details. In fact, let's start with some basics you'll need to know when it comes to formatting. This is the stage where you will decide on the actual format. As in, will you put your book in a physical print form? And if so, what type? Will it be hardbound, paperbound? What type of binding will you have? Will it be the traditional hardbound, a perfect bound, which is for paperbacks, saddle stitch, which is usually, which is usually more for magazines. It's the kind with staples down the spine, in case you didn't know. There is also the whole ebook format to worry about, because there are many formats you can use, and just about as many ebook websites and other services you can use. But don't get too stressed. I'll go over that in more detail in another video. Another aspect of formatting involves the actual putting the manuscript or illustrations into the book format, basically creating your proof. This part can certainly be daunting, especially if using a program you're not used to or aren't used to using in that manner is a thing, because let's face it, it probably is. On my part, I didn't know how to use Microsoft Word to format books, and that was a decided learning curve for me. But there are templates out there for things like that, and that's how I learned. So, if you need a template, it's okay. That's how I got started too. Now, there are a plethora of programs out there that you can use to format your book. Not all print-on-demand services like the formats they save in though, so keep that in mind. I found Microsoft Word to be pretty much accepted all the way around. PDF format is also generally accepted, though not by all. When in doubt, Check with the service you plan on using before getting too far into the process of formatting your book. You'll thank me later. Other aspects of formatting will include more nitty-gritty details, which we will get into at a later point, like formatting the different contents inside your book, page numbering, margins, and then there's the assignment of an ISBN, getting the LCCN, and figuring out what goes in the front matter as opposed to the back matter. We've covered some basics on that, but we'll go over some more of it again later. Needless to say, the formatting aspect of book publishing is full of a lot of information. More than I can even do in the basics in one episode. I'm going to try and do my best to cover as much of it as I can in future videos. Just know that there are things I don't know or don't know as well as I'd like. I wasn't kidding when I said there's always something new to learn, and I'm definitely still learning. But for the purpose of this episode, We're going to say that the formatting section is probably going to be one of, if not the, largest chunk of all the information I try to impart. The promotional aspect will certainly be large as well, but let's not worry about that until some other point in time. I know this is probably more scattered an explanation than some, but that's simply because there is just so much to cover. So I hope you'll stick with me as I try to go through, if not all, most of what you'll need to know about formatting. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or so forth, feel free to comment or send me a message. I'm Carly with Dragon Key Press, and I hope to see you next time.